Is he harassing you, Lorna? Not anymore than he usually Look, does. I'm just trying to help. But I wasn't about to call the cops. Oh, this officer is here with me in an official capacity. The district attorney's office has assigned me to prosecute Lorna's case. Oh, at least it's someone I know. Listen, Lorna, I came here to speak to you, but since you're here, Victor, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Victor, you gave blood samples at the hospital earlier, correct? Yeah, yeah, but if you find evidence, I was with Lorna. Lorna already told me that you had consensual sexual relations earlier in the day in question, but you wore a condom. Yeah, which isn't always foolproof protection. <laughs> Victor, the point is I need to make a positive ID on either a blood or a semen sample from the alleged rapist. Look, you might find evidence of me, but I didn't rape Lorna. And I'm sure the test will show that. Now, just take it easy, Victor. I mean, this is normal police procedure. Yeah, well, we both know how the police operate when they have to decide whether to arrest a white guy or some spit. Excuse me. There won't be a shred of racial prejudice in this investigation as long as I am in charge. Well, I hope not. Now, you were at the bar the night that Lorna went home with her alleged attacker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at Sassy's the whole time. Well, what do you remember most about Lorna's behavior then? Look, Lorna's behavior's got nothing to do with this. She's the victim Look, here, remember? I'm just trying to get a complete picture of the events that happened prior to her assault. Okay. Um... Well, Lorna and I had an argument. She wanted to pay me back, so she let the guy at the bar hit on her. Okay, now, was she drinking? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, she, she had a few drinks, but she was just having a good time. I mean, she wasn't asking to be raped. Fine. Tell me about the man. Um, he was uh, a rich Romeo type. He was all over Lorna. He was, he was kissing and fondling her. He was way out of line. Did she welcome his advances? No. She didn't let it go too far. No, but she did invite him and his friend back to her home with her? Oh, because she was trying to make a point with me. I mean, about independence. But so what? So she, so she had a good time with some guys and she left. She never asked to be raped. Victor, look, you can't testify to events that happened here later that night. You know who did this, don't you? Look, if the police made an arrest, I mean, you obviously have a suspect, or you wouldn't be running blood and semen tests. Look, I'll ask the questions here, okay? You made a statement to the police that you came back here after the alleged attack, right? Yeah, and Lorna was gone and the place was a mess and I was worried, so I decided to wait. Ah, and then you cleaned up all the evidence. Well, I didn't know Lorna had been raped. I mean, I cleaned the place with Lorna's sister, Jenna. You know, I am not the one you should be questioning. You should be that guy from the bar. You should be giving him the third degree. <sighs> or better yet, why don't you just give me his name and I'll get the truth out of him. And how do you think you'll do that, Victor? By coercion or threat of physical violence? By any means necessary. In my neighborhood, we deal with rapists in no uncertain terms. That guy does not deserve to be out on the streets. Okay. You're gonna get them clothes? I'm gonna give them you clothes. Promise? I promise. Okay. Watch out you don't slip on the loose. Okay. Okay, now when I say step up, you gotta step up. Alright, alright, all right. All right, all right. Okay. I know I'm supposed to be finished by now, so if you could just give me a second. Come on, you guys, what's going on? Wait, 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 wait. Just one step up. Okay. okay. No. Second okay. step? Alright, okay. You're right? I got it, I got okay. it. Okay, don't look. Oh, come on. I'm... Okay, well, should we show her? Yes. yes. Why not? Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, Ian, it's beautiful. You did this for me? Well, Maggie helped me organize the food for uh, the picnic basket. Well, actually, Helen made the chicken. I stole it. She doesn't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> so. So. <laughs> Shouldn't you be heading back to the house? Oh, oh, right, right. I, I have to check on Rachel. I mean, she was a real wreck. Why? Did something else happen? Oh, no, no. Just a messy situation. You don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, yes, I do worry about it. Maggie, what happened? Well, um, Jake recorded um, Matt and Iris and Amanda over at KBAY saying some really crummy things about my grandfather and about Rachel. And when Rachel heard, she hit the roof. But don't worry about it, okay? You have fun. I... Damn it. Damn it, Jake just never stops, does he? It's like he's got a personal vendetta for every single member of my family. Listen, if, if you want to... Go and see how Rachel is, I understand. You do, don't you? Jake never would. I say we not waste, waste one more minute of our time together talking about that snake, Jake right. McKinnon. How about we talk about lunch? Excellent idea. Suddenly would I'm very like fancy. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Uh-uh. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you were the best, you know that? Yes. <laughs> you were going to make me forget about all the turmoil going on in the house. And that I'm mad at whoever it might be that I'm mad at. You know, um, I can't be myself. I, um, I want to pamper you. You've been ill. It's only because of you that I'm well. Not exactly. Jake did what he did from pure selfishness. But you're not like that. You proved to me that I could trust a man again. You don't know how much that means to me. You don't know. You're my best friend, and I need you to understand. I need the same thing from you. Believe me, I feel for what happened to Lorna. It was an indefensible crime that should never happen to any woman for any reason ever. You're defending the criminal. Why? He says he's innocent. He's lying to you, Felicia, Cass. what if, just suppose, Lorna is wrong about Morgan? She was drinking that oh, night. Don't you dare start she with that. She admits herself that she was very drunk. Well, she she was passed out in her own apartment. She was sober the moment he attacked her. Can she really be 100% certain that it was Morgan? Have you forgotten what it's like to be dead drunk? Come on. Have you forgotten how booze distorts your vision, your judgment, your memory? What are you saying to me? Are you saying that this is Lorna's fault? No, of course not. But I am saying that maybe your battle with the bottle is affecting what you're thinking. Maybe you don't want to even admit that your own daughter was so bombed out of her mind that she can't remember who you raped know, her. You may be able to fast talk Jenna into believing your argument, but I'm the one who knows what's going on here. This is a cheap tactic by a desperate lawyer. Oh, Felicia. Felicia! No! no! I only talked to Jenna because I wanted to find out the truth. You questioned her. You questioned her, and, and you distorted everything she said to her. You went after her in a very unprofessional way. Listen, there's one fact that you're omitting. Lorna was very drunk. Why won't you admit that? Honey, won't you even consider the possibility that somebody else attacked her, and she was so blind drunk she didn't realize it? Okay, yes, I admit it. She was drunk, all right? You happy? But I'm not the one who's blind. Here you are. Are you really, you really going to give up your oldest and dearest friend for a brother that you don't even know? That would have to be your decision to make, because I wouldn't make it. Damn you. If you choose to disown me again as a friend, I swear to God! You know what? I'm not, I'm not making a threat here, Captain. I'm making a statement. What? Because you know that we could never talk again with this between us. How could I ever look at you again and not think about it? Now, if you choose to do this, then it will always be between us. <laughs> I'm new here, first year intern, Morgan Winthrop. I'm Kathy Wolikowski. My friends call me Wally. <laughs> nice to meet you, Wally. If you need anyone to show you around, find me. I will, thanks. Are those the uh, test results for the DA's office that Dr. Harrison ordered? I think so. I'll take them. Uh, she asked me to take them to her personally as soon as they came in. Okay. I'll look for you when I get lost, huh? Great. What are you doing? 